since Braxton Reber was a baby, his mom has heard about all the things he can't do. But he's intellectually and developmentally disabled, um, so we pretty much knew that there were some issues when he was about six months old. Yeah. But at seven years old, Braxton is getting ready to run his second marathon. Oh, mommy. This is video of him finishing a race recently. His mom is pushing, his family and strangers are cheering him on. They're yelling his name and he's whipping his head around and he hears his name and he just, like, I, I can't describe, um, you know, the, the excitement that he has when he participates in some of these races. Braxton is part of Athletes Serving Athletes. You ready to go, Mr. Braxton? Yeah! Dave Slimkowski started the organization seven years ago. Well, we really focus on individuals with very limited mobility because there's, quite frankly, not that many opportunities that they can get out and, and experience these opportunities. We've traveled a lot and um, have gotten really neat experiences to uh, really help him to, to really do the things that just everybody else is doing. This year, there will be 10 people from athletes serving athletes taking part in the Baltimore Marathon. This is going to be Zach's second marathon. He and his dad are going to run the first 13 miles together, and then from there, a wingman will take over. A wingman is a volunteer, someone who pushes or runs alongside the team. Their support is vital to finishing. But for Tom Scher, right, the victory isn't at the end of the race. The miles he and his son Zach conquered together mean the most. And we never had the opportunity to, I guess, do things together, like sports. But this is an opportunity for us to interact while we're running. He turns around and screams at me, or, you know, he laughs when people run by, and then we start talking to each other as we're running. So it's a chance to interact together. And we've never had that ability before. And that is hard to compete with. Megan Pringle, WBAL, TV 11 News.